Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tips. So today we're going to be looking at something that I feel is probably the most important way for us to save time in our edits, and that's learning the keyboard shortcuts. So what we've got in our sequence here is a audio preview, and uh, that's where we're going to start off. So the first uh, shortcut, and this is probably one that a lot of us are already aware of, is Command Plus and Minus to zoom in and out of the timeline. I'm just going to move over here so that we have a clear indication for the next shortcut and that is to raise and lower the volume. And the way to do that is uh, making sure that your clip is selected. As you can see, it's got the yellow outline there. Then hit Control and Plus for it to increase. You can see there the volume is raising. It's actually starting to peak. And then Control minus to drop the volume down. So what we're going to do is place down a couple markers so that we know where we want to make our cuts uh, with the edit. And I'm going to do that, uh, you can see in particular over here, and I'm going to hit M. So I've chosen that point because you can see there's a peak after a trough. So that's my one point. Then the audio kind of starts over here. Then there's another one over here. And another cool thing to show you guys over here is that if you double hit M, so M twice, it's going to prompt you for a title. So I'm going to call this the middle section. And then one more over here at the end. Now that we have our audio markers in, we can disable the audio by hitting V. So as you can see, it goes dark, which means that it's not going to play back when I hit play. Now what we're going to do is add our clips. And what I want to do is hit I for input and O for output. So I'm going to start with this clip over here. So I'll hit I and I'll hit O. Then I'm going to go down into my timeline and I'm going to hit Q. And what that's going to do is place the clip where my cursor is. Now there's two ways that we can cut the clip here. I can either hit Command B and that's going to make a cut, but then I will have to select and then delete that clip. Other than that, what I can do is select the clip, move the cursor to where I want it to cut, and then hit Alt and Bracket. And as you can see, that pulls back. So let's do that with a few more. I'm going to hit I over here and O over here, then go down here and hit Q, and then I over here and o over here, and then down here, let's hit Q. And over here, you can see it's a bit too long, so what I want to do is move all the way back there, and hit alt bracket so that it closes over there. So another cool shortcut is to hit the full stop and apostrophe and what that's going to do is move your clip up a frame or down a frame and if you want it to be more than uh, just a single frame let's say you want to move it 10 frames then hold down shift and then hit full stop or apostrophe that'll move it 10 frames. So I'm just going to move it back into place here. Right so what we're going to do is bring in a title here and the way I can do that is hitting control T and that's just going to bring in a basic title. Then I only want it to be on this first clip, so then I can obviously go Alt bracket, uh, Alt close bracket. Obviously, this also works with the beginning. So if I go Alt opening bracket, uh, then it will start over there. So we just want it to be on screen there. Then I'm just going to create my title. All right, so I'm going to set some keyframes. So one over there, and then one about 20 frames in, and that's going to be the point at which it rests. So at the beginning, I'm going to pull it out towards the left. Now what I want to do is bring up the transform view. So what I'm going to do is hit Shift and T, and as you can see, my keyframes are there. Now what I want to do is create an ease in for my title. So I'm going to manipulate these keyframes and then create a freeze frame. Check out our previous video where we actually show you why we do this. So I'm going to select this frame, and I'm going to say linear and then smooth. And then I'm going to drag out this in the opposite direction. And then for this keyframe, I'm going to right click and say linear. So now I'm going to just find the frame at which it slows down it should be over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is hit Alt F. So what that's done is create a freeze frame and you can set up the default size for your free freeze frame by going into Final Cut Pro preferences. But another shortcut to show you is command and apostrophe. And then in editing, what you're going to do is just make sure that your still images uh, editing duration is set to something uh, that's not zero. And what that's going to do is every time you hit Alt F while selecting a clip, it's going to create a freeze frame. All right, guys, we don't need this last clip, so I can delete that. And what I want to do is slow this down because the title is actually quite quick. So what I'm going to do is select the both of them, hit Alt G. That's going to prompt me for a name for the compound clip. I'm just going to call that title. Then I'm going to hit Command R and that's going to bring up the speed. So let's slow it down to about 50%. And then what I can do is make the cut over here. So I'm going to have it selected, hit Alt and closing bracket. And the last thing I want to do before playing back is just reposition it. So we'll select it and move it into position over here. All right, let's play that back.
Alright guys, so learning these has saved me a ton of time inside Final Cut and I hope it will do the same with you. If you've learned something from the video, make sure to like and then subscribe to the channel as we'll be adding a lot more tips that will improve your workflow. All the best guys and I'll see you in the next one.